welcome back to Apiary Minor. You know, I apologize for not uh, having another episode out sooner. I intended to, and I actually went through the process of filming what I thought would be my next one, but when I got to the point of uploading it to my computer, I realized there was nothing on the card, and uh, I guess I had not been filming when I thought I had. So I feel a little stupid, but uh, <laughs> I was trying to film myself walking through the process of booting this bad boy up on uh, Windows with NiceHash for the first time, and actually it's been running all right for the last couple of days on NiceHash. I thought about trying to go back and film that process as if it was happening again for the first time, but honestly that doesn't seem fun and doesn't make much sense anyway, so I'm just going to say I'm sorry, I flubbed up. Uh, and I hope to do better in the future. I want to be posting a lot more content coming up uh, because honestly I really enjoy this YouTube mining community and I think I have a lot to learn so from them and uh, but I'm, I'm super excited today right because running it on NiceHash is not ideal with these 3060s if you obviously do probably most likely no, they are nerfed. And so I'm running like, what, 50%, 25 uh, giga hash a card? Not ideal at all. So I'm gonna be booting it up on HiveOS for the first time today, and I'm honestly pretty darn excited. I uh, have this USB here that I actually uh, made I don't know, a month or so ago, because I was trying to see if I could boot up HiveOS on this card, if I could have a little more control over the 1050 Ti, but it was confusing and I didn't really feel like going through the whole process. So until now, I, I now I have reason to. So I have this USB here that, uh, oh, if you want a tutorial, I didn't feel the need to walk you through it. Uh, I'm not really qualified to be giving tutorials, but Brandon Coyne walked me through a great one uh, not too long back and very simple, just uh, straightforward. Really like that guy. He seems like a cool dude. Uh, so I'll link that down below if you want to uh, make one of these yourself and you don't know how to do it. Uh, so I should be able to take this and plug it, if I can see, in right back here. Like so. Perfect. And if everything uh, works well, I can now boot it up by first turning on the GPUs with my first PSU and uh, then I can turn on my second one and with this push of a button there we go okay is my uh, I think my monitor's on so it should uh, should recognize that in just a minute by the way uh, Brandon Coin, I'm pretty sure that guy's having like a kid like Maybe right now, I have no idea, but that's super exciting. Give that guy some love, he's uh, he's cool, that's that's really exciting. Oh, okay, so uh, I want to hit the button, oh, uh, yep. I think BIOS is uh, F12. I missed it, it's very quick. Uh, so I've plugged in here, I have F12 queued up, and we're gonna wait for that again. Yeah, 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 there, F12, pushing F12. I should open up my bios and I should be able to choose that. Yes, okay. Now, I wanna go to USB, zip, I'm thinking. Yeah, okay, let's see if that works. Ooh, Hive OS, Lint. yep, that's what I want. So, oh, okay, it didn't, I didn't push anything. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully figure it out. Uh, so I still have this thing running on uh, the actual computer case. Not the best setup. I'm gonna be handling that pretty soon here in a future video. I've also got another couple of parts coming soon um, that I'm excited about. It should ramp this bad boy up. So we're running now. Uh, this looks a little familiar from, oh, there we go, Hive, yes. Right on, here we are. <laughs> so three GPUs, yep. 
Okay, yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hive. Who? AP Air Miner is now one with the hive. Okay, this is, this is feeling cool. I think that might have done it. Is, are we booting up? So, so, that looks like a mining log, but no miner set. Okay, yeah, I gotta do that now. So I'm going to uh, jump over into my other computer now um, and boot up HiveOS there, or not boot it up, but pull it up, and then I'll be able to control that. I think that's probably gonna be the easiest way to do this. <laughs> Uh, silly me though is going to be running this cord back and forth because I only have one keyboard and mouse at the moment. You don't need to see me do that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to see you on the inside. Okay, so I swapped over my keyboard and here I am, my other computer. This is Hive OS. This is my first time doing a screencast, so I put up an extra mic. I don't know if I need it, but uh, it is a little loud, so. Hopefully everything works out. So when I was booting up the USB, I made my first farm, which is apiary miner here. It has my three GPUs. I think that's a good sign. Uh, what else we got here? Wallets, flight sheets. Okay, flight sheets. This is where I got confused when I was trying to do it the last time. But I, I, I think I understand now and you know i'm going to kind of explore around here this is my first time uh so i'll probably cut through so you guys don't have to bear through it all okay let's go back to farm i'm going to go into that worker <laughs> you can see this is my first hive that's what i named my worker i'm gonna have to figure out a better name uh i don't i don't really know what scheme i'm going for with names yet we'll see got our three 3060s it's no minor set that's what i need to do i'm gonna try to create a flight sheet first time let's see if I can do this okay these are all the coins I have the possibility of mining that's a lot uh, but obviously we're gonna start out on ethereum so I added my wallets when I did this the first time so I don't have to walk through that process again thankfully there are so many different pools so if I choose hive on pool let's just say I'm gonna use hive on pool yes west apply okay miner set uh, Ether miner. I think that's like one of the main ones. So I'm gonna start with Ether miner. I can look at the configurations. Um, I don't know if I need to have both these on, but I know this, I have Nvidia cards, so I'm gonna click that off and I'm gonna create a flight sheet. Yeah, I wasn't even in the worker, so I'll get a flight sheet within the worker. There it is. Yes, I knew there was that little. It looks like it's booting up. That's exciting. Where's the remote access? Oh, hive shell start. Let's try that. Shell in a box. Miner. Okay, ether miner. Look, we're in the hive shell, and it is on. We are mining. We're at 65 mega dash. So we're not even at 25 apiece. Ether miner, not working too well. So I'm going to try adding a new flight sheet. Uh, basically same thing I just did. This time though, I'm gonna try the LOL, LOL miner because I've been told uh, if you use LOL miner, you can get the nerfed 3060 to run about 75%. So that's better than 50%. That's one other thing I need to do. Uh, gotta run a command for a different driver, I believe. So, sorry I'm typing with one hand. I'm not that quick. 460.39. That should be what I need for the LOL minor. You can see I'm at 460.67, so I have quite a bit to go back. So much to learn. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to be working with Hive OS. Rig configure change, so I, it should be done. Let's try running this and again we will play the waiting game okay we've had a nvidia gpu error you know i did not notice oh look none of my gpus are connected now huh 
since nothing showing up in here, I'm actually going to reboot it and see if that helps. And swap the keyboard. <laughs> well, see, this is a process. This is kind of why I did not learn how to use HiveOS, but that's okay. This is a part of it. I want to learn how to use it because this is... Oh, you know what I just noticed? We don't have any drivers for NVIDIA, so it did not work. I got to do that again. doop a doop boop 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 doop boop boop so here's the development. Uh, it looks like I have the NVIDIA driver 460 uh, 0.39, but I I still am not getting I basically have no registration of anything. Um, so I'm gonna try running LOL Miner again. Let's see what happens. I honestly have no idea why it's not. I'm gonna try it again. Reboot. F12. Oh, I'm too late. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try net test. So it wasn't the network. And look, when I run the NVIDIA info command, no GPUs found. <sighs> Yet when you look at it, it shows I have three GPUs. And when it was booting up, it showed me three GPUs. I don't know. Keep troubleshooting. Okay, so I think I messed it up with that driver update. I'm going to try just going back to the regular driver. NVIDIA driver update, this one here. See what that does. Alrighty, I tried to do that driver update. It didn't work, uh, so I'm back to the drawing board. I don't know exactly what to do. i got to do a little more reading. Um, I'm going to try to post this video, and maybe I'll get some feedback, and that will help me through the process. But I started GPU mining in July... 2021, but I'm going to call August my uh, my first real month, because this month has been pretty much a wash. Next month, I will be more consistent. Um, August, it's my month, man. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's going to feel good. It's a little frustrating, but you know what? It's a part of the process. I knew what I was getting myself into working with these uh, 3060s. If I had even 3060 TIs, I would just be able to plug and play, but you know what? I have to... I got to learn the hard way, so... Please uh, like and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.